listen, refusal for refuse refusal to eat spiritual junk is what can make you bold as a disciple of Jesus. Refuse spiritual junk foods. Do you know what happens when you eat junk foods? Even ask well. Well, what happens when you eat junk foods? Yes, what happens when you eat junk food? Your teeth will break out, number two. Your teeth will break out and also you will face the doctor. Is that true? The same way, if you meet with a spiritually malnourished, junk-eating Christian, <laughs> their teeth are out, like the way we are saying. Doctor Nidu is not far from you. So refuse junk spiritual food. Refuse junk spiritual foods. Anyone that stands to feed you anything else other than Jesus, refuse it. Refuse it. Refuse people from forcing down your throat what is not profitable for your spiritual development. For your spiritual nourishment. Write this down. The diet for the flock can never be what was not prescribed by Jesus. The diet for the flock of God. The flock of Jesus. For the sheep that Christ died for can never be anything else other than what was prescribed by the maker. For example, no matter how much you feed a cow with fatty meat, can it ever grow? Just imagine a cow that eats meat. Can cow, can cow be productive? Can a cow be very fruitful when you feed it very fatty meat? Hello? I'm as, I'm, I need answers. If you feed a cow with its own meat, can it grow? Can it grow? So how can a Christian grow when it, they are being fed with what can never nourish them? With what can never develop them? There's something I was to write but I, I, I spared it for now. Write it very boldly. Strong tea can never mature a tree. Sela. Strong tea. Do you know what is strong tea? No matter how strong it is, no matter how much you, you feed it to a tree, it can never mature a tree. Seller. You can never feed goat with pizza and expect it to mature. No matter how good pizza is, it is not made for a goat. Kede baragada. Oh, no matter how fatty the meat of a pig is, even if you pour that fat on the grass, can that grass ever grow? Can that grass ever succeed to be very productive? So the same way, you must stay on your balanced diet. And that's the word of God. It is the word of God, the revealed word of God that can mature believer. No believer can grow without the balanced diet of the word. First Peter 2.2. 2. First Peter 2.2. 2. Give us in King James Version, then Amplified, then NCV, and also Amplified Classic. Let's read just that one scripture in those many translations. First Peter 2.2. 2. King James Version, Amplified, NCV, and amplified classic. Let's read together. One, two, three. As newborn babies desire the sincere milk of the word, that you may grow thereby. Next translation. Next translation. Everyone, like newborn babies, like Abia, you should long for the pure milk of the word. So that by it, you may be matured and grow in respect to 
salvation. It's ultimate fulfillment. Continue, next translation. As newborn babies want milk, you should want the pure and simple kadaba. Now, do you see what's, what's the milk the writer was talking about? And the teachings should be simple. It should not be something so fancy. It should not be sci-fi. <laughs> People are trying to decorate the word. No, the word is enough the way it is. It doesn't need your decoration. No matter how you want to make it sound, make it simple. You should want the pure and simple teaching, not the word pure. It should have no impurities. Your diet should not have impurities. And that is the word of God. The simple teaching, by it you can mature in your salvation. This is how to be a great disciple. Desire the simple teachings. Don't look where there is drama. Don't look where people are falling and vomiting on the, on the carpet. You vomit here, you give us the money to clean the place. Are we together? No demons like drama. Talk as it okay. Talk as it okay. How many, you are asking a lying devil to how many they are and you know he can never give you an answer. <laughs> oh my goodness. The drama. Let's read on the next, the next translation. Amplified classic. Everyone, amplified classic. One, two, three. Like newborn babies, you should crave, thirst for, earnestly desire the pure and adorated spiritual milk. That by it you may be nurtured and grow unto completed salvation. If you don't love the word of God in its pure form, then get ready because what you'll be fed with is junk food. Write this down. Alright, or rather, just write these scriptures down. First Peter, the same first Peter, chapter 5, 1 to 2, KJ 21. First Peter 5, 1 to 2, KJ 21. Then also you will give us Ephesians 4, 10 to 14. Ephesians 4, 10 to 14. 10, 10 to 14, I mean. Ephesians 4, 10 to 14. Amplified Classic and NLT. New Living Translation. And also you will give us the same Ephesians 4, 10 to 13. You can see we are reading it interchangeably. But this time in KJV. Ephesians 4, 10 to 13. KJV. Then John 3, 6, amplified. John 3, 6, amplified. Then John 16, John 16, 12 to 15, amplified. 12 to 15, amplified. Isaiah 9, chapter 6, I mean verse 6. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6, amplified. Then John 14, John 14, Verse 26, KJV. Romans 1, verse 16, amplified. Romans 1, 16, amplified. Then Galatians 4, 19. Galatians 4, 19, ASV. Acts 4, 13. Acts 4, 13, amplified classic. Then Proverbs 18. Proverbs 18, verse 24, amplified. Proverbs 18, 24, amplified. Then Mark 14, Mark 14, 38. I don't know if we will be able to finish all this.
but let's see how much, how many scriptures we can squeeze in for today. Mark 14, verse 38, Amplified Classic. Mark 13, 33, Amplified Classic. Mark 13, 33, Amplified Classic. Let's see if we can get somewhere with that. Let's see how far we can get with that this far. You make my life so beautiful And as you are You have made me here on earth There is nothing, nothing greater than thee First Peter 5 That's why I love you Forevermore. Let's read from verse 5 to 2. KJV, KJ21. Everybody? The elders who are among you, and I exhort, who am also an elder and a witness of the sufferings of Christ, and also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Verse 2 Feed the flock of God which is among you. Can you see this feeding? The flock is to be fed. Taking the oversight of them, not by constraint, but willingly. Not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind. Give us the next scripture. But before that, write this down. Any teaching or anyone that is teaching the word by revelation, anyone that is not teaching the word by revelation is depriving God's children the only thing that can make them grow. Anyone that is not teaching the pure gospel is depriving the flock the only diet that can mature them. Why? The flock of God only grows and becomes fruitful when you feed them the balanced diet of the world. What can mature a believer, what can grow a child of God is the balanced diet of the world of God. No, I heard one time a pastor who made a statement and said, you know, I am not a pastor. I am not a preacher of the word. I am not a teacher of the word. What? <laughs> what a confusing statement. You are not a teacher of the word. So who are you? What is your JD? What is your description? Oh me, I'm a pure prophet. You are a witch. You are not a pure prophet. You are from the devil. Listen, every gift of the Holy Spirit is always to bring you to one thing. That is the word of God. Revealing Christ. Any gift of the spirit should bring you to the revelation of who Christ is. And you can never reveal Christ without the knowledge of his word. You can never be a teacher of the word if Christ has not been revealed to you. So when you make a statement like that, I'm not a teacher of the word. So who are you? And what your purpose with the pulpit and the church of God? What are you standing to feed the flock of God? Because the diet is one, Christ. The diet is one, the word of God. So if you don't teach, what do you do? Oh, you know me, I'm an evangelist. So what does that help us with? Hey, you know I'm an apostle. So? So apostles should not teach. What are they supposed to do? I'm a bishop. I hope you know that is not in, the, in, 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 in an office in the Bible. Hello? Ha. Leave that thing. Reverend is not an office in the Bible. I've always told you Reverend is just an honored pastor. 
So Reverend and Pastor said, but this one has just been honored. Because when I look, when we were at the office one day, when we were being ordained into Reverend, to be Reverend, we asked the, our bishop, where is it in the Bible? Can I be carrying a title? I don't understand what it means, what it entails. And he explained to us. Otherwise, I was ready to drop it. Mama is my witness. I kept on saying, I don't need that title. Until I got the explanation. If you can't teach the word of God, leave the pulpit. Leave the church of God. Leave it for men that will reveal Christ. Saying that I can't teach is like saying, I can't drive, but enter the bus. Let me drive you. Are we flowing together? It's like a pilot that is saying, I cannot fly, but just enter. Let me try. Will you enter? So the moment you hear somebody make such a statement, I'm a pure prophet, I don't teach. Run. You are about to enter into an accident that you will never recover from. Are we together? A pastor that cannot teach the word of God and they are telling it to you and you are there shouting amen. You and them. Who needs deliverance first? <laughs> a blind man cannot tell you please I can't see if there is a ditch but give me your hand let's go. And you stretch your hand for the blind to lead you. <laughs> Something is very wrong with you. Listen, no matter the title anyone carries, if you can't, if you can't make the flock understand scriptures, if you can't rightly divide the word of truth, you have no business to be on any pulpit. Give it to us in Ephesians. Let's read it. So that people will not say, oh, but the Bible says, the Bible says, let me show you. Everyone, one, two, three. He who descended is the very same as he who has ascended high above. For you who say Jesus went to heaven, ta, he, will not, he didn't go to heaven. When he ascended, he did not go to heaven. Read. He ascended above all the heavens. So even if you have 20 heavens that you have been taught, he did not go, did not go to any of those heavens. <laughs> ah, that he, his presence might fill all things, the whole universe, from the lowest to the highest. Continue. And his gifts were varied. He himself appointed and gave men to us. Some to be what? Who are apostles? Special messengers. Some prophets. Who are prophets? Who are prophets? Okay. Did you see anywhere inspired palm readers? Inspired men that can tell you your future. Inspired men that can tell you what you did in your past. Prophets are just inspired. Listen, Leah can stand. Faith can stand here. As she is preaching, she is inspired of a word. And she drops it. She is already a prophet. Hello? Inspired preachers. And expounders. What do they expound? The word of truth. The word of God. Continue. Some evangelists. Who are evangelists? Preachers of the gospel, traveling missionary. So if you are an evangelist, that does not make you a crusader. Your work is God setting crusades everywhere. No, you say crusades. Number one, you preach. What is preaching? Preaching the word of God. You use the Bible to preach. Can you see all of them are preachers? Continue. Some Evangelists, preachers of the gospel, traveling, some pastors who are pastors, shepherds of the flock, 
In fact, that word pastor, in that pastor and teachers is one word. Pastor teachers. So they are not five folds. It is four. Don't worry, I'll show it to you. Give that scripture to us in message. Are we reading? Let's go to verse, until to verse 14. Then you give us in NLT. Continue. What was the intention for every gift that he, Jesus gave? Was per, the perfecting and the full equipping of who? His concentrate, consecrated people. That they should do the work of? Do what? Can you minister without being taught? Can you disciple without being discipled? Can you go out and teach people Bible if you have never been taught Bible? Let's say every day I stand here, I prophesy every time. Can you go out there and do the same? But through the teaching God gives to us, can you go out there with that teaching and teach someone else? It's a blunder for you to be in this ministry and you can't even explain who is Jesus. It's, it's, it's an insult to all the hours I stand to teach. Everyone in this church, including the, as small as wealthy she is, she understands something about Jesus. Hello? His intention was the perfecting and the full equipping of the saints, his consecrated people, that they should do the work of ministering toward building up Christ's body. The church. Continue. Next, next verse. That it might develop until we all attain oneness in the faith and in the comprehension of the full and accurate knowledge. So everything that an apostle does, a prophet does, an evangelist does, a teacher or pastor teacher does, is to bring you to the full knowledge of the Son of God. So in their prophesying, they should make Christ known to you. In their apostolic, they should make Christ known to you. In their evangelism, evangelistic calling, they should make Christ known to you. Continue. That we might arrive at really mature manhood the completeness of personality which is nothing less than the standard height of Christ's own perfection. The measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ and completeness found in him. Verse 14 now. So then, we may no longer be children tossed like sheep to and fro between chance gusts of teaching and wavering with every changing wind of doctrine. The prey of the cunning and cleverness of unscrupulous men. Gapless engaged in every shifting form of the trickery in inventing errors to mislead. Meaning if you are well worded, you can never be prey to any man of God that is tricking you out of God. Give us now in NLT. Let's read together as a mass choir without stopping. Everybody, the same one who came down is the one who ascended higher than all the heavens so that his rule might fill the entire universe. He is the one who gave these gifts to the church. The apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, and the pastors and teachers. Uh -huh. Their responsibility is to equip God's people to do his work. Can you see how simple that is? Can you see how simple it is for all those gifts? For you to be equipped to do the work and build up the church, the body of Christ. Continue. Until we come to such unity in our faith and knowledge of God's son that we will be mature and full grown in the Lord measuring up to the full stature of Christ 14 
then we will no longer be like children, forever changing our minds about what we believe. Because someone has told us something different. Or because someone has cleverly lied to us and made the lie sound like the truth. When you are not well fed, if the diet is corrupted, lies are inevitable. Did you hear me? Don't allow anyone to lie to you. Don't allow anyone to lie to you. Give us that part of, uh, I believe, verse 11 in Message Bible. Verse 11 in Message Bible. Verse 11. I want to show you where I told you pastor and teacher is the same thing. Can we read? Filled up with his gifts. He handed out gifts of apostle, prophet, evangelist, and pastor teacher. Hello? Pastor and teacher, same. Same work. Same office. So don't go and say, me, I'm only a teacher. I'm not a pastor. You are just very, you are displaying your ignoramus behavior ignoramus aspect of life. Write this down. The whole purpose for any gift is to make Christ known. The whole purpose of every gift that Jesus gave is to make himself known. He didn't give the gift so that the prophet can see your bedroom. What does that make Christ known? Oh, I'm in the realm of the spirit and I'm traveling to Ammon's house and in his left side of the bed there are black panties. Ah! So Christ has stopped revealing himself. He is now revealing what is in the bedroom of people. How can that grow you? Nicholas, how will that doctrine grow you? Ah! Ah! I'm in the wings of the spirit. If you hear them speak like that, no, you are about to be lied to. I'm traveling to the village in Kakamega. You have left Jesus to go to show things in Kakamega. Ha! How? The nonsense that is in the body of Christ, we are about to clean, to clean it totally. Listen, this message you are hearing us speak in this close place. Very soon, get ready. Get ready. You will hear it in every homestead. In every corner of this nation. In every corner of this, of, of this continent. And beyond Africa. You will be inside an aeroplane. The pilot will be playing the message of your pastor. <laughs> I told you last Sunday. Even if they hate it, their neighbors will play it. Even if their neighbors can't play it, their wives, their husband will play this message. Even if the family doesn't love it, their dog will come with a chain. The chain will be speaking the message. You can't escape. This message, it will be a fire that cannot be quenched. A double-edged sword ready to cut on every side dividing the bone and the marrows so it doesn't matter where you will be you go to Kalahari you will find people there preaching the same message I'm preaching why? because it will spread we have just made a prayer father fill the earth like the waters fill I mean, like waters fill the earth let the knowledge of you begin to fill the earth let the knowledge of the true gospel begin to spread into nation beyond us. Fill the heart with the gifts. And of course you have seen the gifts. The whole purpose of everyone that comes to church is to be equipped. The reason why we come to church, please write it down very boldly. The reason I come to church is to be equipped with the perfect knowledge of him. The perfect knowledge of him. If you come to church to seek marriage, it might be very disappointing. If you come to church to seek, or now you can be a billionaire, 
it can be very disappointing. If you come to church to seek or now you can travel, it might be very disappointing. We come to be equipped with the knowledge of him. Not with the knowledge of it. The knowledge of him, not it. How I can make it. How I can attain it. How I can become it. No, it is not about it. It's about him. That's why we don't preach it. We preach him. Ephesians 4.10 to 13. KJV. Everyone, let's read together. One, two, three. He that descended is also the same that ascended up far above all heavens, that he might fill all the earth. Verse 11. And he gave some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers. For the perfected. Say with me, I'm being perfected. Nothing perfects a disciple more than the word of God. Nothing perfects a child of God more than the word of God. Write this down. Ministry is not a career. Neither is it a business. Ministry is not a career. Neither is it a business. Please ask the genuine pastors. They will tell you. You don't come to ministry as a career. You come to ministry as a calling. That's why you hear people asking God to come into their lives. Where is he coming from? Where is he coming from? Lord, come into my life. From where? He is already in you. Many are seeking a God that is already in them. That's why we had that teaching a Sunday ago. Not this Sunday, last Sunday, but one. Are you seeking what already you have? Are you seeking for a God that is already in you? It's like this song we used to sing. Do something new in my life. Something new in my life. Something in my life. Oh Lord, do something new. Something new. We used to sing that song until we cry. Which something new will he do in your life that he has not done? What something new will he do in your life that he has not, he has not already done? <laughs> Don't seek what already you have. I wrote something and you need to write it again. Seeking what already you have leads you to wasted efforts. Seeking what already is inside of you leads you to waste your effort seeking for it. You waste time. No, for example, there are those who think that they have their spirit and also they have the Holy Spirit. How many people think they have two spirits? Your spirit and the spirit of God. Hello, I'm asking a question. Bramwell, you have two spirits. The spirit that is in you, then the spirit of God. Is that true or is it false? Ah, why are you laughing? I didn't ask you to laugh. I asked a question. Then, um, Nicholas, how many spirits do you have? There is only one spirit in you. The spirit in you is the spirit of God full stop. You don't have two spirits. Are you a demon? Two spirits. From where? There are those who believe I have a spirit and also there is the spirit of God in me. From where? How can you be that possessed by two spirits? If two spirits are in you, you are possessed. <laughs> you have only the spirit of God. Say with me, my spirit is the Holy Spirit. I don't have a human spirit and a human, I don't have a human spirit and the spirit of God. 
No man can carry two spirits. You only have Blair. You have only one spirit. And that is the Holy Spirit. So don't walk around thinking I have my spirit. My spirit told the Holy Spirit. <laughs> oh my goodness. Give us John 3. John 3. My goodness. Three minutes to John 3 verse 6. John 3 verse 6. Amplified version. Everyone let's read. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. The physical is merely physical. And that which is born of the spirit turn to your neighbor tell them I am a spirit. I am a spirit. I am a spirit. Da, 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 da. So spirit is speaking to spirit. Spirit is speaking to spirit. Da, 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 da. What's the work of the Holy Spirit? What is the work of the Holy Spirit? Because so many people have misused, misused the spirit, the Holy Spirit. And I think this is where we will end. We will continue from Sunday from here. What's the work of the Holy Spirit? Is, the, is it the work of the Holy Spirit to teach you the, or rather to reveal to you? Exam answers. Hello? Is it the work of the Holy Spirit to reveal answers to your exam paper? All right. Is it the work of the Holy Spirit to reveal to you who you will marry or who you should marry you? Is it the work of the Holy Spirit? Uh-uh. Please write these questions down because I will need answers. Is it the work of the Holy Spirit to reveal to you? <laughs> Where money has been hidden. Is it part of the JD of the Holy Spirit? Give us John. Give us John. Let's see what's the express JD of the Holy Spirit. What's the only one thing that is clear in the Bible as the work of the Holy Spirit? Oh, thank you, Jesus. John 16. Everybody, let's read together. John 16, 12 to 15. Amplified Bible. Ah, uh -uh. what is this man doing? Have you given it to us? What are you doing with a microphone? Can you put that thing away? He's not hearing what I'm asking. He's just holding the microphone. Please, Leah, be looking at that guy. Knock his head. Next time, if I ask twice, Leah should knock your head. And there's nothing you can do to her. She will knock you very hard. Because how can I be? Yeah, I'm asking for a scripture. He's still on the microphone. Is it the microphone I'm asking for? Be, be inside the church. Let's read together. One, two, three. I have many more things to say to you. Who is this? Jesus. And this is his almost last statement before he ascended. I have many more things to say to you. But you cannot bear to hear them now. Continue. But when he, the spirit of truth, comes... He will guide you into all the truth. What is all the truth? Full and complete truth. For he will not speak on his own initiative. But he will speak whatever he hears from the Father. The message regarding the Son. So number one, what do he expressingly speak? The message. The message regarding the son. So if there is anything the Holy Spirit does is to reveal Christ. Ay, 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 ay. The soul or express job description of the Holy Spirit is to reveal the message regarding the son. And he will disclose to you what is to come in the future. Continue. He will glorify and honor me. So the spirit that is revealing that this stuff is not the Holy Spirit. That's a contrary spirit. Oh, the spirit has just revealed to me that uh, I 
Some nonsenses you don't even want to mention them. Because he, the Holy Spirit, will take from what is mine and he will disclose it to you. Continue. Or rather, is that the last verse? Write this down. The work of the Holy Spirit is to teach and reveal Jesus. That is the express JD of the Holy Spirit. The spirit of God is God himself. The spirit of God is God himself. Isaiah 9, 6. Isaiah 9, 6. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Take your place. Take your place. Let's read together. One, two, three. For to us a child shall be born. To us a son shall be given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. So those of you that don't believe that the Holy Spirit is God himself. Now we will read the next part so that you understand this very well. No, there are people that believe that the Holy Spirit is oil in a bottle. Water in a bottle. That is the Holy Spirit. They believe Holy Spirit is everything else. <laughs> they believe the Holy Spirit can be in anything else but not in them. Do you know there are people that believe the Holy Spirit is in the handkerchief. The Holy Spirit is in the oil. The Holy Spirit is in the waffle. The Holy Spirit is in the blood. The Jews, they, are, they drink and call it the blood of Jesus. Ten, ten. And go ahead and lie that lie. They believe anything can contain the Holy Spirit, but they don't believe the Holy Spirit is in them. So that's why they keep on walking around with very dirty handkerchiefs in the name of mantles. I have mantle. I have a mantle. They carry their God inside their backs and they don't wash that, that their God. Don't worry. We are about to disarm the kingdom of hell completely. Others even can tell you can, can tell you a piece of cloth is more anointed than they are. Because if you see how they guard that cloth, ah, you can't touch it. They call it the prayer shawl. Like he faith ameba. Prayer shawl. So they don't go anywhere without a prayer shawl. <laughs> because it carries anointing more than them. So when they want to, to draw more anointing, they put on the thing so that they can receive more anointing. What a lie from the pit of hell. What a lie. 